Students in this Berkeley High School science class got a surprise visit today from Stanford-trained physician-turned-astronaut Mae Jemison. While women and minorities are underrepresented in the sciences, her mission is getting all students interested in the fields of math and science. Students of all kinds, even white males, aren't going into the sciences and engineering like they used to. So I'm very happy to be involved in programs that look at, first of all, how do we develop science literacy? How do we get as many students involved as possible? These students are part of a partnership between classrooms and corporations. It's called Biotech Partners. It provides disadvantaged youth on-the-job science-based training. It's been very important. It got me a scholarship for college, uh, a good job at East Bay Mud over the summer where I did my internship, and best of all, good money. These students have had summer internships with Bay Area companies and mentorship in jobs that require strong math and science skills. Private industry is underwriting the cost of the training because there's a dearth of well-trained Americans. And contrary to popular belief, the greatest need is not necessarily for those with advanced degrees. More than 60% of biotech jobs do not require a four-year degree and some major U.S. companies report up to three-quarters of their trained scientists are at or near retirement age, but there aren't enough American workers trained and ready to take their place. It is critical that we prepare our own workforce, because even the folks coming from foreign countries, those are the higher-level scientists. Those are not the people who are going to have the skills to do the production work, the manufacturing work. Females and minorities make up 75 percent of the U.S. population, and companies say now it is critical to reach into that talent pool for potential workers. In Berkeley, Renee Kemp, KTBU, Channel 2 News.